think that you're good at making jet exhaust nozzles? Well, maybe you are. I don't really know. But maybe you build them in a certain way. Do you, do you build your ex exhaust nozzle like this? Or like this? Or even like this? Well, these all stink. At least, but at least you don't build them like this. That's pretty bad. But, let me offer you a solution. These are my own personal designed exhaust nozzles. These look much better and much more realistic. Here's a photo of real exhaust nozzles. And now here are my exhaust nozzles. Now these look really good, but I've been pl playing around with a different version for F-22 Raptor. Oh, whoops. Dress vectoring. These look pretty good if you're having difficulty making an F-22 Raptor, which I'll do a tutorial on later. Not the F-22 Raptor, just the exhaust nozzles. You're gonna have to build that yourself. Wait, where's that? Wait, no, I'm not gonna reveal those yet. So. Maybe you want to build these, but you probably don't know how, which, of course you don't. I haven't showed it to you yet. But I'm not going to show you more of my most advanced one. I'm going to show you my most basic one. Which is these. Pretty simple. Which might be easier on you. So, here's how I did it. You get the tube double cross right here. And then another tube double cross right here. Ignore the... Hinges. Psst, please ignore them. Those are just part of something. So yeah, just start off with one tube double cross, and then add a piston, which is at start position 0 0.3. So you can do this on Xbox too. So so then put another tube double cross right here. So then you'll get just something like this. Then add a rocket thruster at the end right here. Now, at the other, at the first one, at the first tube double cross, add a wedge 3x1. Three, three then put a steering hinge on top of it with the grain pointing inward towards, towards the thruster. And put the angle at 60. Then rinse and repeat about six times. About five times. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Till you have about six hinges and six uh, three three by one wedge. Keep forgetting the name. So you can put it on top. You can put it on something like. Damn it! Give me that. So yeah, make sure there's nothing touching that, or else it won't work. Then just maybe you'll you'll probably have a distance sensor doing it automatically, and then you'll have this perfect little version. I'll teach you guys the more the more advanced version later. But. You might say, how do you put it on a build? Well, that's pretty simple. See, I have this Jazz 39 right here. Which I implemented this on. Don't mind the missiles, I made this for the customism on. Now look closely at the thrusters. Ah, oh, shoot. They open close or variable thrust, I don't know what they're called. But this makes the build look a lot more realistic. I know it looks a bit unwieldy, I know, I know, I know how it looks like. 
I'll fix it later. Probably should have gone down the regular one with this for this one. Oh nope. Well, I think I covered everything, everything for today. So, hope this guy's helped you. Hope this video helped you guys. Sorry, got my words mixed up there. And stay safe. Don't build weird exo jet exhaust nozzles. And please subscribe. I really need it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.